Can I buy a knife from you? Well, I'm not accepting any orders at this moment. Like I said, I want to build up my uh, YouTube channel. It's growing, it's growing pretty quick and I don't want to stop. I want to keep them videos coming at you guys. It seems that you guys really, really enjoy watching the videos and I appreciate all of your comments. Um, so if, if you were to buy from me, you must be 18 years old. That is the law where I live. So I cannot sell a knife to a minor. Uh, also, it would be very nice if you lived in the United States. I don't know how to ship out of outside. I mean, I could sure ship it out, but I don't know if it's gonna get to your location. Um, plus, I don't know how to get paid uh, from another country. I heard PayPal, but I've never used it. Um, so that, that's the main thing. But right now, I'm, I'm not taking any orders. Uh, do you play CS:GO video games? No, I do not. I suck at video games plus I don't have time to play video games I come home I go straight to knife making uh, it's dark outside when I go back inside the house I eat and I go to bed get up same thing so even on the weekends I make knives so I don't have time to play video games you need to buy a belt sander yes I do and I need it badly it takes forever to grind them bevels or to do the profile of a, of a knife I almost killed myself making this thing because it's got four bevels so yep I do need one but I would probably buy one right now but I don't have uh, a place to store it because I live in an apartment and I can't be making a lot of noise as is I'm making a lot of noise so hopefully they don't kick me out some of you want me to use a hammer and an anvil and forge a knife I can't be doing that All right. Um, where do you get the templates to the knives or oh, where can I get the templates to the knives all the knives that I post on video on YouTube you can go not to my Instagram but you can go to my Google Plus and look there's different folders of different knives that I made and inside those folders click on them and you will find all the pictures to that particular knife with a template and I also uh, put dimensions on the bottom of the picture so what you do you download the picture to your computer and then you bring it up on your uh, screen then you grab your ruler you place it on the screen and you make the picture as big as it needs to be to match the dimensions that I have on, uh, on, uh, on that picture match it with your ruler then you take a piece of paper lay it over your uh, screen and trace the, the outline and that's how you get the exact replica of what I made that is how I do it um, let's say how do you draw this thing up exactly to be looking like a video game knife so I go online on Google I find uh, a good image that's not like this or like this you know find a good image sideways facing sideways then I uh, I go on Amazon or find a place that sells this kind of knife and I uh, look up what's the length of the blade or the handle now that I know the length of the blade or the handle I go to my screen I place the ruler onto the screen um, I have a I have a transparent ruler so you, I could see through it so then I place it on the screen zoom up the picture so let's say the handle is four and a half inches right so I zoom the picture up to four and a half inches so the handle matches to the four and a half inches of a ruler lay the paper over draw it out lightly then 
I take my rulers templates, make a nice solid outline, and that's how I get the the stencils or the or the sketches that you guys see me use in the videos. Um, where do you buy materials like handles, screws, kydex, eye rib, rib, or eyelets for the kydex? I buy most of my stuff from uh, USA Knife Maker, and it's a pretty good place to buy. There's another place. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but there's two of them, two locations where I buy. But yeah, that's where I get all my stuff. Um, a lot of you ask questions after you watch the video that I just posted, and you ask me questions. Why didn't you heat treat the knife? Um, well, that's because, except the Huntsman video, that's because you didn't watch part two, and that's where I heat treat the knife. Or what's the thickness of the steel? Um, what's the length of it? Where, stuff. Um, where do you buy the handles? What kind of handles did you use? What kind of screws did you use, uh, guys? Most of the stuff I show you, I post it in a description below the video. So, whatever name of that handle that I used, it's going to be in the description below. So take a look at it, and you'll know exactly. So you don't have to ask me that kind of question. How do I come up with uh, knife designs except, you know, the CSGO knives? I, I just explained to you guys how I come up with those designs. I, I trace them off the uh, existing pictures. This way they look exactly what they're supposed to look like. But how do I come up with my own design, you know? This is my own design, right? So all these three knives were my own design. Well, this is how I come up. I draw, 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 keep drawing, right? So, as you can see, these two knives are different. So, basically what you do is just draw to a point where uh, they look good, they function good. Um, then you cut them out. So, let's see. So the first one that I drew for the gut knife, which is this knife, right? I drew this one. Looks nice, everything looks good, but what I do after that, I trace them to a cardboard box, you know, and I hold it in my hand. Well, I realize that some stuff is not comfortable in my hand. So then I redraw it make it a little bit different you know then I don't like some part of it then I redraw it again to a point where it comes out to a knife that I like you know and that's how I do it yeah it takes time but that's my uh, style um, So that was the final, final, almost final. My brother looked at it. He goes, I, I need you to change this and this and this. And that's what we did. I wrote down all the things I, I needed to do before I made that knife. Um, so that's how I come up with my design. You just draw it out, change it out a little bit, draw it on the cardboard handle, hold it. Like, for instance, I came up with a this design right so it looks good on paper but I took a plexiglass and cut it out just to see how it feels in my hand and guess what 
I don't like this part. It digs into my hand. It hurts. So I'll need to round it off and make it like a karambit style, just a circle. So that's what I do. I draw them on paper. I either first I, I put them on a cardboard piece of paper and then I uh, check it out, make sure it fit, fits good and then I proceed to a plexiglass and then you could feel the real thing. So that's what I do. Or you could use a piece of paper, uh, not paper, it's cardboard, a little bit thicker. This is another one, another one I want to make, a little one. Little Persian. So, that's how you do it. Draw it out and hold it in your hand. Otherwise you ain't gonna know, unless you're a professional knife maker, you'll never know if it's gonna work or not so um, that's how I come up with the templates for my knives the last thing is as my channel grows it is getting more and more difficult for me to answer all of your guys questions so for example uh, last night I posted the videos to these knives and before I went to bed at one o'clock in the morning I answered about nine, 90 comments or so so from nine from one o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock in the morning so that's what seven hours I received 158 comments it's getting uh, very complicated to answer all of your questions or I mean comments so from now on or uh, I'll see if I can still answer your uh, comments I will I will definitely try to answer your questions um, I believe that is important to guys who want or girls who want to learn how to make knives I do the same. I contact other knife makers and I sit there and wait for that answer. You know, I'm anxious because that's what I need to know in order to proceed, right? So if you guys ask me a question, I'll, I'll try to answer, you know. But if you guys say, hey, good job, um, hey, the knife looks great, I'm probably going to start skipping those uh, comments. You know, I'm not going to say thank you or anything. I do thank you. I appreciate your comments. You guys are great. Um, it's just getting overwhelming on uh, answering all the comments. So I am very happy that you guys are subscribing to my channel. I did not ask one single person to subscribe. I do not beg for people to subscribe to my channel, but it's happening, guys. I want to thank you for that. Uh, it's been a great ride what am I plan what knives am I planning to make next I have quite a few actually uh, let me show them to you on, on a computer screen so you could see it so the knives that I want to make are uh, basically are your requests and uh, let's see gonna be something one of them is gonna be something like this this is a custom order then uh, a lot of you some of you asked me to make uh, this knife it's a uh, Krauser from uh, Resident Evil 4 uh, let's see one of you asked me to make this knife uh, let's see what is it it's a uh, solid snake metal gear knife and uh, a lot of you want to see that uh, Bowie knife from a CSGO so the, the, the problem that I'm having right now with this knife is I don't know how to make this guard this guard so on uh, M9 I slid the guard 
from this point and I went, you know, I put it on this way. Well, here you could see this part which doesn't allow me to slide it on. So I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I'm still learning, guys. So also a CSS Counter Strike knife. I want to make one. Let's see. Better picture. Mm, this one. So I want to make this one too. A lot of you requested this knife. It's a beautiful knife. Then uh, some of you requested this style of a knife, uh, Tanto style, and also I don't want to butcher the name, but I think they're called Kunai or uh, Kanui. Uh, anyway, I do have plans to make a butterfly knife, but just not at this moment. Got a request to make a Destiny Hunter's Knife. A flip knife. And a snake bite knife. So, those are the knives that are, or I plan to make. And you might be seeing them pretty soon. I do not have an order in which I'm going to make them. But that's the plan right here. So once again, guys, thank you for uh, watching my videos. Thank you for the, all the subscribers. Share the videos so my channel can grow even more. Um, I want to thank you for all of your comments. Some of them are really funny. You guys are great. Uh, and... I will make more knives for you and I will see you soon guys so stay tuned more to come all right take care bye